Are you still making corrugated roof panels like this by hand? Well, that's a mistake and waste of your time. Let me show the simplest method. Before that, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. So let's jump in. First, just we need 1001bit pro plugin and with this option we can create corrugated roof panels so easy and simple just click on it and then you will see this window and in here it has different type you can change it like this choose one of them for example i choose this one and also in here you can determine its depth and also spacing and at the end click on create metal disk then just click here again and move it up to here like this it maybe takes a few moment like this it's so easy and simple so now let me change some details like depth and spacing for example 8 cm for depth and 25 cm for spacing and click on create first you should determine this age then click here from this corner up to here like this it's so easy and simple and also let me create ones here like this click this edge and from here drag it and up to here like this so now we need a metal edge trim right here so first let me take an offset from this one up to here then draw a line here select this line and by flip tools take a copy from this one like this and now erase here and here too and also let me fill it the corner by using arc tools like this and here too then by using pushable tools extrude it extrude it up to here like this and also let's create a gutter for rainwater here 
by using rectangle tools draw a rectangle here right here like this then extrude it by 10 cm and by offset tools take an offset here by 1 cm like this and extrude and extrude here by 4 cm like this let me select all and make it group then let me create a down pipe first let me draw a rectangle here like the axis and draw a rectangle right here then By using line tools, draw a line here, like this, and once here, like this. So, just we need this line. So now, Select this line, take a copy by Ctrl C, then select all and delete. Now go to edit and click on paste in place like this. And let me fill it the corners by arc tools like this and here too. Like this. Now select all and by using Weld Ages plugin, join them together like this. So now draw a circle right here like this and take an offset. by 0.5 cm delete the middle face then select this line and by using follow me tools extrude it like this so now let me select all and make it group and let me extrude it a little bit more like this so now let me empty here, take a copy from this face by using Ctrl C, go out from this group and go to this group and click on paste in place like this and also delete this face like this. It's so easy and simple 
and also we need a gutter brackets for this pipe how we can make it select this face take a copy from this one go out from this group and let me hide this one and go to edit and paste in place so now by using our tools draw an arc here and once here like this now let me erase these additional lines and let me draw another line here like this and here too now by using weld ages plugin join them together let me unhide the pipe like this so now by using GHS powerbar plugin we can extrude this this line like this you can find these plugins on our website for free I have shared its link in the description so now by using Fredo join push pull we can extrude this curve face first just select and extrude it like this so now select all and make them component like this let me take some copy from this one and divide it by three like this and also let me create a bolt like this and by using push pull tools extrude it like this and now by using fill up tools take a copy like this it's so easy and simple and also let me let me do it again delete this one and draw a line here and by using our tools fill it this corner too and raise these lines now select all and
now select all and by using follow me tools just click on this face like this now it's better so select all and make it group in here as you can see we have some lines let's let's hide them go to default tray find soften ages and check this option like this so now let me take a copy from all of them by using flip tools here too like this it's so easy and simple and also let me put a metal color from this one and also here too like this i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like comment and share the video with your friends.